Carnivorous plants have long fascinated gardeners, and we can actually cultivate and grow these in pots or actually in the ground. There are many carnivorous plants that are native to Louisiana that are perfectly hardy here and can be grown outside. Now here's a nice selection of carnivorous plants, and really we should say insectivorous, because they don't eat meat, they eat insects, and you should never try to feed them raw hamburger or anything like that. These plants are native to usually boggy areas that are poor in nutrients, and they're catching insects for the nitrogen contained in their protein, and that's why they've evolved these incredible methods of capturing and digesting insects. Now these are called the sundews. And notice these tiny hairs tipped with this liquid. That liquid is sticky, and when an insect wanders in onto a leaf, it gets adhered to the leaf, then the leaf slowly folds over it and digests it. These are called butterworts. Same thing, they're flat leaves, but they're covered with a sticky substance that the insects get mired in, and then that substance absorbs the nutrients right out of their body. The most active of the traps are Venus fly traps. You can see here's one right here. These will actually physically close over an insect. You can see how this one right here has closed, trapping, and then the trap seals up, fills with digestive juices, and digests them. Finally, these are the pitcher plants. They're passive. They have these tall pitcher-like structures. These are young. They'll get much larger. And here's a tropical version called the penthes. Look at these traps on it. Insects fall into the traps. There's fluid at the bottom, and our digestion absorbs the nutrients. So if you've thought about growing carnivorous plants, give it a try. They're not that hard to grow. In a nice sunny location, keep them nice and wet, and you'll be rewarded with a fascinating plant. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.